As we near the end of time, Satan knows that his time is short and he's expending all his energy to destroy God's people. We read in the book, Country Living, page 14, paragraph 3, we cannot fail to see that the end of the world is soon to come. At such a time as this, the people who are seeking to keep the commandments of God should look for retired places away from the cities. Some of God's people have moved out of the cities and into the country as God has asked us to do. But because we are in the country, at least in a physical setting, it does not mean we should let our gods down. You see, the devil knows what he's doing. He has a short time and he knows this of course. So he has extended the walls of the city and he has done this through many devices, technologies. We have cell phones, we have tablets, we have internet and computers. And yes, some of these can be used as tools to resource for Christ. But the devil is also using them as a way to extend the city beyond the walls of the city. And we as God's people, we have to be aware and mindful of this. According to the CNN report, smartphone addiction could be changing your brain. And the report goes on to say that 50% of teens feel they are addicted to their mobile devices. And this is not limited or restricted to teens alone. Adults too, many adults have the same problem where they are addicted to their devices. They cannot put it down. Constantly checking their email or Facebook or Instagram and WhatsApp. And uh, some companies now are setting up a way where you can have some kind of control, such as Apple Screen Time, where now you can see the amount of time you spend using Facebook or other social media, and you can actually set a limit and have a better control. So some companies are seeing that there's a problem. If companies are realizing that there there is a problem with the mobile devices and these things we too should realize that there is a problem and we ought to be like Noah. the bible says in hebrews eleven seven, by faith Noah, being warned of god of things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the of the righteousness which is by faith so likewise we ought to protect our children we are to protect our family. God has placed us in country setting, but we are seeing that the enemy is trying to reach the country setting with the things of the city. And God wants us to be wise. This is why the Bible said in 1 Peter 5, 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Revelation 16, 19 says, And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And the cities will be destroyed. That is why God is calling us to move out of the cities. The cities are connected to Babylon. It's connected to confusion. And anything that is connected to it, and, and, and if we do not let go of Babylon, we will fall as well and babylon confusion is of the devil is of satan and his objective is worship he wants the world to bow down and worship him as it was in babylon of old so he wants the same thing today so we ought to not allow the city to extend to where we live to out into our country homes we have to guard cautiously against this as we have seen satan is using these devices to destroy souls. He's using these devices to extend his city limits. So as God's people, we have a, a, a duty to reach those that are caught up even in the devil's trap in his system. 
And how are we going to reach those that are caught up in the devil's system? The spirit of prophecy tells us in Evangelism 77 paragraph 4, the cities are to be worked from outpost. Said the messenger of God, shall not the cities be warned? Yes, not by God's people living in them, but by their visiting them to warn them of what is coming upon the earth. And we know that the enemy has extended the walls of the city. So this applies to his extension, which he is using through cell phones and, and social media and all and, and what have you. So we are to reach these people. We are to visit them using the devices they use. And the, the spirit of prophecy said by not us living in the cities. Likewise, we are not to live or dwell on these devices. As a matter of fact, some of us may not be able to use these devices or WhatsApp and, and be on the internet like that because some of us ourselves will be caught up in it. So it's it's by prayer and as God leads, some of us can, can use these these devices and these social media to reach souls for Christ. As we have read in the previous quote, we have to work the cities from our post. We have to have a place set up in the country where we can do God's work, where we can prepare people to stand in the last days. In the book Evangelism 77 paragraph 5, it says that God's commandment keeping people, we must leave the cities as did Enoch. We must work in the cities but not dwell in them. And many people today are caught up in this system, the extension of the cities. And again, through social media or the internet, the, the, the cell phones and these different devices that the devil is using in these last days and he's he's catching many of us off guard because even some of us has, has put away tvs out of our homes but through the cell phones through the internet the movies are coming in other things are coming in and they're reaching us where we are god wants us to be wise he wants us to be vigilant because the devil he's not playing he knows that time is almost finished he knows that his time is short, so he's pulling out all the stops. But we as God's people, we have to be more vigilant, we have to be on our knees, and we cannot be caught off guard.